Okay, I headed out to my garden. I just picked a whole bunch of random flowers um, from my planters, from my garden. I even picked some wildflowers that we had along the road. And um, I'm gonna show you how you can dry these really quickly. You can use a flower press or make a flower press if you're not in a hurry and you just want to kind of work away and dry some flowers to save. Um, but I have a project that I wanted to do and I need them right away. So I'm gonna use this method. There are a few different ways of drying flowers quickly. You can use the microwave. I don't have a microwave, so I don't have that option. It does work pretty well, um, but I have heard that you have to be really careful because you can burn them really fast if you're not watching them. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I dry my flowers using the iron method. First thing you want to do is put down a towel and then get some parchment paper. You don't want wax paper. You want to make sure that you're using parchment paper so you can iron on it. I've got two sheets cut here and I'm just going to lay out a few pieces of the flowers or the, in this case some ferns and um, you're going to put the parchment paper on top of it and then you're going to take your iron and just very gently just iron over those pieces. Now you want to have your iron set at the highest setting with no steam. And you want to press down firmly for three seconds. That's what I find works the best is just do it in three second rotations. If you leave it on any longer, you risk the chance of burning your flowers or your greenery. And as you can see, it's already starting to dry out. It works really quickly. And you just have to make sure that you don't burn them. It, they're very sensitive to burning really easy. So I find if you just press down three seconds and then three seconds and then check them. And sometimes when the flowers are a little bit thinner, they don't take very long. These are a bit of a, a thicker fern, so they take a little bit more time to dry out. So it's just kind of trial and error. Just see what works for you. And these are done perfect. Now I'm going to do some of these smaller uh, yellow flowers. And they're a bit thinner, so they're not going to take as long as those ferns did. Same process. Put the parchment paper on top. Press down firmly for three seconds. And then check them and see how, they, uh, how much they have dried. And these have turned out beautiful. I just love the way that they dry out. Now, of course, each flower that you do, depending on the thickness or the, how thin they are, will determine how long that you have to press down with the iron. The biggest thing is do not leave it any longer than the three seconds. Pick it up and move it to another um, position until you get the desired dryness that you're looking for. So I'm just going to work away at these flowers and you can see how I'm doing them. This one's a little bit thicker and I want to make sure that the flower lays flat when I have the iron on it. So I'm kind of pressing it down a little bit, making sure the flower is nice and flat before I put the iron on it for the three seconds and then move it around. And because this flower is a little bit thicker, I'm also going to flip it over on the other side and iron from the back.
Okay, I wanted to show you what happens if you put the iron on uh, too long and you can see how it went brown around the edges and I've kind of burnt it a little bit. So you just have to be conscious of that and making sure that you don't um, leave the iron on too long. I've got all of these flowers pressed and the colors and how they all blend together are fabulous. I can't wait to use these on a project. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some paper towel on top of them and then I'm going to put some heavy pieces of wood on just to leave overnight just to finish them off and then they'll be all set tomorrow. This step just dries them out a little bit more and just flattens them a little bit more than just the ironing and I always like just to leave them 24 hours and then they're good to go. All finished and aren't these beautiful? The colors are so vibrant. I've kind of preserved that whole summer feel in all of these flowers and I can't wait to use them and uh, make lots of projects. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried this process for drying flowers. Thanks so much for watching today's video and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos. So if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon. Take care and have a great day.